Well, Simon, I think there's, there's only really one place to start this week, and that's after 441 days away. County fans will finally be back at Edgeley Park this Saturday. It'll be your first experience of them personally. What are the emotions going into this one? Yeah, I'm sure for everyone it's a, you know, it's a massive day, one that everyone's looked forward to. Um, you know, I said last week how pleased I was that we're getting to the, the point that supporters can come back in, and it's probably... You know, just just in general, really, that people are getting something really special back in their lives. You know, it's been a really hard time for everyone, um, I'm sure. So the fact that, you know, Stockport County fans in particular, of course, from my point of view, to come back in and that's back in their life and there's something to look forward to, um, you know, whether it be a really healthy distraction or whether it just be back into them family traditions of going to watch the county play, whatever it is. You know, I'm, I'm excited that people are getting that back. And um, and obviously for me on a personal level, you know, the first time I'll be taking the team with, with our home supporters behind us. And yeah, really, a really special moment for me as well. And hopefully um, hopefully we can reward the day with a, with a good performance. Does it make it all the more special that the fans are coming back when there's still something so, so tangible still to play for at this late stage of the season in, in securing a top three place? I think so. I think, um, you know, the um, obviously... We, we feel like we're really proud of what we're doing at the minute, but you know, we've got a lot to do um, and we're well aware of that. So the fact that we are playing for something is brilliant um, and, and to have the fans in behind us making that difference, that marginal gain, that bit of support when you need it um, in, in good times and bad, you know, that's going to be really, really important for us moving forwards. And, and certainly um, it, we're grateful that that's coming back into our, our environment. And it sounds obvious, but how how important is it now over these next two games to, to push on and secure that top three place? Because it's it's quite a significant advantage in this playoff format, isn't it? Yeah, I guess. I mean, look, the um, however, whatever, whatever pans out, pans out, and we have to deal with it. But we certainly would would rather be playing at home. There's no doubt about that. Um, and you know, I guess really in theory, the least games to. To achieve what you want to achieve, the better. Um, but there's always counterbalances to be had along the way. You know that things, scenarios play out that you know someone wasn't expecting. All of a sudden, you know, maybe you've got a game and you might view it as a useful tool. And who knows? I mean, you can you can second guess what may or may not be useful. Um, sitting here today, all all I know is we've got to keep winning our next immediate game of football, and that's starting on Saturday. You also have the chance to be, uh, break a club post-war record this weekend, which would be the, the longest unbeaten run in a single season for the club if you avoid defeat. I mean, it's bigger targets, of course, but that would be a pretty good achievement for your first season in charge, wouldn't it? Yeah, it'd be achievement for everyone. It'd be achievement for the, for the players, it'd be achievement for the staff, um, and obviously I'm part of that team. Um, so that's nice. It's certainly something I'm not going to be you know, claiming just for me on my watch. I've, um, I work with a great team of committed staff you know, that have been fully behind me from the, the word go and that's above me and below me. Um, and, and obviously the, the players have been absolutely pivotal and fantastic in that, in that process. So it's nice. Um, it's not something that, you know, it's, I'm getting carried away by certainly. We, need, we want wins. Um, and so, yeah, look, it, is a, it is something that is nice to hear, but it's something that, you know, I'm, I'm keeping it where it needs to be. How much confidence and significance are you placing on this unbeaten run at the minute going into the playoff campaign because we're obviously a very very difficult side to beat right now which is I suppose what you want going into the playoffs. Yeah what it tells us is we're a good team and we're well organised and we've got a good scheme of work and we know what we're doing. Um, so we can take confidence from that. Um, we've been absolutely adamant along the way that um, that we don't you know we don't let anything derail our focus um, and that has been you know, along the way with when we've had difficult results. So you've got to keep believing in what you're doing. You know, if you don't believe it, no one else will believe it. So we've maintained that belief of what we want to do. And, you know, it has been a factor in, in our form. Um, but we, we just also need to stay, you know, very grounded and, and just keep doing the things that we believe can give us success. And, and the ultimate ingredient there is working hard. Um, and that's what we've done. We've worked hard. We've worked hard off the pitch. We've worked hard on the pitch. And we've been one. We've been one united group together. And, um, and we'll certainly need to be that over the coming weeks. And presumably it's also important to, over the next two games to just maintain that momentum that you've got right now going into the playoffs. Yeah, I mean, we are at the time of the year where the same words get banded around, you know, momentum, business end. You know, I could go on. And, and we, us football people, we do, we do use these words. Um, but, you know, they are important. 
um, and that's why they get used year in, year out. So, but equally, I, I'm not someone I, I wouldn't like to place too much significance on any one particular thing, because at the end of the day, you know, it's another 90 minutes of football. The past becomes irrelevant. The future is not very useful. You've just got to focus exactly on what your task is. So, you know, everyone will arrive. Everyone will arrive in these types of scenarios with different different strengths, with different weaknesses, with good runs, with bad runs, with you know teams that you faced earlier in the year and you've you had a difficult day or a good day. So there's so many things that are in the mix and you've just got to stay concentrated on what you're doing and keep that belief. And that's certainly what, what our mindset is. And in terms of the actual game on Saturday, what, what sort of test do you think we can expect from Wolking this weekend? I think we can expect... Um, you know, a team that are going to be highly motivated. You know, they they are coming to a team that you know in us that are, are on good run. Um, we've got our supporters back in. We've got everything to play for. And you know, I put my players hat on when I was a player. If I was in that working team, I'd want to give a damn good account of myself on Saturday. So we'll get a test. You know, and and we'll need to be we'll need to be aspiring to be at our absolute best to get something out of the game. You know, the results and the games they've had have been tight games. So, you know, there's no reason to suggest that this is not going to be anything other than a really difficult task. It seems like a, a long time ago now, but walking away, of course, was your first game, very first game in charge. Yeah. Great result that day. But how much do you think this team has, has progressed since then? I think, you know, respectfully, I think we have progressed. You know, I would, um, you know, I'm mindful of being respectful about, you know, where I inherited the team and how I inherited the team. And, you know, I'm sure there's a lot of hard work that's gone in before that as well. So, but I do think we, we have progressed as a team. I do think we've got better. I think, um, I think we're organised. I think we're strong. I think we're resilient. Um, and, you know, we, we've also put in some really, really impressive attacking displays. So, you know, they're things that we've worked hard for and the players have worked hard for, but we have to look to go to the next level. You know, these tight games, we've got to turn into our advantage, turn into wins. Um, and, and we certainly, you know, all of our scheme of work is, is surrounded by ambition to be better at what we've done. Um, and we'll continue to do that and I'll continue to make that, you know, that's, that's our priority within the building. You know, if something's good, how do we make it better? If something was difficult, OK, how do we make it better? And that's all you can really do. And just to finish back where we started, really, do, do you have a message for the supporters ahead of their return this weekend? Yeah, thank you, really. Um, I'd like to thank people because, um, you know, I, I'm, I'm aware that the fans here have, have been through a lot over the years. You know, I can't speak and be part of that emotion because I haven't been here for that journey for them difficult times. Um, you know, so just thank you for your support, really. I can't wait to have people back in and we're just desperate to give them something to be proud of and enjoy. Um, and I know a lot of managers will be saying that up and down the country right now, but you know, rest assured that we are, you know, we genuinely want to give people great experience. And we genuinely, for myself, who is a football fan as well, you know, football's been my whole life. Um, you know, I'm I'm keen to be part of something special, and and we really want to make the end of this season special for people. And you know, we'll be doing everything within our power on the pitch and off the pitch to do that. I think we're all looking forward to Saturday. Simon, thanks for your time. Yeah, no problem.